And then in the morning, the town wakes up. Here we have the market. Seems to be some kind of main street. People having their breakfast and people going to work. The hotel makes an effort of presenting local culture to visitors and tourists, unlike many hotels in Europe. I just discovered a cut on my front tire. I don't know if it's from me or from one of the previous riders. I'm going to have to take it a bit easier today. Asafi has a population of around 300,000. It is the main fishing port and also provides cultural artifacts, textiles and phosphates. It is also one of the oldest cities of Morocco, probably founded by the Carthaginians. Rumor has it that it got its current name from the Arabic word Asaf, meaning regret, after sailors from Spain uttered the word after ending up there rather than in America. <laughs> in all fairness, they were captured, blindfolded and misled by island inhabitants en route. Just left Safi and this is the scene that awaits us. Nice, brilliant coastal road with lots of uh, brilliant scenery and beaches. A feast for the eye. On the way to the mountains, the heat builds up and I'm glad to be riding here. On the road to Esavera, a historic city which dates back many centuries. It was important for the exporting of sugar and molasses and was also used by pirates. It's been donkey's years since I last rode the camel and so I'll take the opportunity to ride one just outside the Sawira. Riding a camel, getting an almost bird's eye view of the brilliant city of... Oh, keep getting lost. Where are we now? Uh, uh, Sawira. <laughs> Most camels today are domesticated, but did you know that they actually originated from America and like the horse, came to Africa and Asia via Russia? You have to get it off differently. It's got one camel power instead of um, 50. Camels today provide milk and meat for the nomads, and the numbers today across North Africa and Arabia is estimated to be 14 million. The modern city was only built in the 18th century by a rival king who wanted to create competition for Agadir. It later became the main seaport of Morocco in the 19th century and today is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It also remains one of the main fishing ports. Esawira to this day attracts tourists from all over the world. Some return and settle here, making it a city of modern culture with art galleries and music festivals. There's also lots for tourists to see and do here, and shops full of handicrafts and souvenirs. It is also relaxing to just sit back and watch the local wildlife. The area has also been fought over repeatedly by all sorts of powers from Europe and fortresses and weapons are a testimony to this eventful history. The culture is predominantly Islamic but traces of Jewish culture also exist as do modern day Western influences but still things are kept as traditional as possible to attract tourists. The Agadir to Casablanca round trip is almost over but Morocco has one last surprise up its sleeve. What a day! What a day! All the different landscapes we had over the last couple of days. We had plains, we had mountains, riverbeds. And today we come to this here. Almost desert, but still with lots of mountains. That's typical Morocco. After having ridden through a mixture of mountain and desert terrain, coming over the hill, this is the view that you get after a hard day's work. And now it is back to Agadir. What an amazing journey. <laughs>